What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Today is D-Day. It is the final day to get everything prepped for SEMA because, well, we leave tomorrow. And the reason we're starting this vlog while we are already underway here is because, well, I've already been running around with my head cut off all morning trying to finalize a bunch of stuff. And first things first, we are on our way over to Preston's because the graphics people are showing up there in about five minutes to uh, start putting all of the sponsorship graphics on the truck. Then following that, we need to head over to the painters because that guy is four days late on these bumpers that he has had. And well, he's really like, that. that's the final piece. We need the bumpers and then we need the mirrors that he was fixing. And I understand it's a ton of work, but uh, he promised them four days ago. So that's kind of been a whole kerfuffle and a half right there on trying to get those things in time because, well, today is really, that's it. All we have is till the end of day today. And we still gotta get the truck detailed by Josh before we leave for SEMA. So if it seems like I'm stressing, I am. Go on. I'm guessing you're my guy. Uh, graphics. Graphics. Yes, yeah, sir. you're doing the graph. Uh, Mark's here too, and okay. we're, uh, I'm Richard. Right. So I called around to multiple vinyl shops uh, looking to have somebody come do these graphics, and uh, I'm sure you guys are saying, why don't you just do it yourself? You have all the material and the equipment. Uh, it's just time, time to sit there, lay it out to illustrate all of the files on the computer. Uh, I just don't have the time. So it was something I needed somebody else to do that way, uh, especially with our time frame getting so short. Uh, anyways, long story short, I called around to multiple vinyl shops, kind of got the run around a little bit, some responded, and then the, kind of the communication would fall off. Uh, but the day I was over picking up those powder coated parts from my buddy's powder coat shop, there was a sign shop right uh, in the same parking lot and I asked my buddy, and he's like, dude, that's a great shop, go to them. So CJ Norby is the shop there in Lakeside and I actually was walking in as they were walking out. Uh, I think they were going, you know, I think they were going home for the day. And we went back in the shop, talked over my ideas. I told them what I wanted, and they said, "We are going to make that happen for you uh, before SEMA. Don't you worry." And they just took a huge burden off of me because that's kind of like the one piece that I didn't have somebody for yet. So I really appreciate them stepping up and handling all of the graphics on the truck for me. So we got the giant TIS logo going on the side, and then we have the giant list of all of the build sponsors that are going to be going on the back window over here. They're getting everything prepped and everything clean. Oh yeah, we got the sick true spike lug nuts on. Those actually look killer on these wheels. They're definitely gonna even stand out more. The reason I went black was when I have my copper faced wheel, uh, these black are gonna stand out a ton. I'm telling you guys, this grill has just definitely set off the build. I know it may not be everybody's taste, but I just think it really finishes off the front end and just that little touch of copper in there is just enough. It doesn't bring too much copper up to where it's too gaudy. And, you know, I've told you guys in the past, kind of my, my build with this goal is to be showy and classy, but not super crazy and gaudy. And I know you're saying copper, probably gaudy, but I think we've done a good job of keeping everything pretty mellow, uh, but still retaining that you know, factor, that, that beautiful, badass factor, because I am absolutely in love with this thing. Every time I see it, now we just need some bumpers, which hopefully we can go get in a little bit. She's on, let's see this bad boy lit up. There it is. Nice. That looks killer. This pulled like this arm right? Oh yeah, you guys got that installed too. That looks... Yeah, I did that, thank you. Beautiful. Dude, it, it just, it's really, really coming together. It's just clean. It's not like super gaudy. Right, it's, it's none of that. It's, it's just clean. perfect. Uh-oh. Looks like the drug dealer showed up over here. At Preston's. Zach, Zach, you gotta resist it, buddy. Zach, I mean, I'm telling you this as a friend. I see your drug dealer outside. In the snap-on truck. It's worse than a drug dealer. Can you resist, Zach? No. <laughs> I'm a must, fiend, man. You must resist. Why do you think I'm over here eating chips? <laughs> Trying to hide in your in your box. <laughs> you know, it's funny, Zach, that this so happens to be the day that the graphics guys are here, but oh. being that uh, I'm a man of my word for you, buddy. Woo! There you go. Make sure it fits, because I don't remember the measurements. Oh, dude, that looks beautiful. He got you, Zach. Got me again. Uh, Every well, time. well, we got. It looks like we got some important stuff. We got a sweet umbrella. Dude, that's the best. You need part that. Right you there. need the free umbrella. The magnetic the koozies. <laughs> Whoa, I'll that. tell you what, I have dice. They're great, dude. You can't. I mean, what? cup holders. 
a, it's, that's a big ass three quarter. So how much do you have to spend to get all that? About 20 grand. All right, deal. That looks great though. That was a hell of a see-through umbrella. Ready? Ready. Oh, dude, there's no way I'm doing that on my own truck. No fucking way. Oh, Zach just ever so uh, <laughs> politely removed the door handle so we can get the, uh, the graphic on the side here underneath the door handles, make it nice and clean and easier to install. But there's no way I would yank on my door handle like that. It's kind of like clipping the, or popping the clips on your dash. I hate doing that. Because you kind of just got to commit and do it, but I always worry that I'm going to screw something up and I think I broke more than my fair share of dash clips. continue to do a kick-ass job on the graphics on the truck we're gonna run over to the paint shop because I'm sick of waiting we're going to see if the bumpers and mirrors are ready and I got my fingers crossed because we're screwed if not uh, we're gonna have to throw the factory bumpers on and that's gonna really really suck let alone take away from the build let alone flog is a uh, they're a sponsor of the build so kind of got to have some flog bumpers on the truck all right, well, we've picked up the rear bumper. They have a few finishing little touches on the front bumper they're working on now, which kind of makes it ideal because moving two of these bumpers in the truck bed at once is not ideal. Uh, you know, I don't want to risk anything getting scratched because we don't have time to really fix anything at the moment. There's, there's a bumper. We got a bumper. A bumper. A, a professionally packed bumper. It's pretty slick bringing a, a separate roll of it Just so you guys case. can piece yeah, yeah. in some stuff. You never know when you need it. You guys are doing a killer job, man. This looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, if anyone knew this was intermediate, they would flip out. Well, I mean, that's what this, I'm saying. This, seeing this, the way you're bending this stuff? Yeah, this, this doesn't do this normally. <laughs> yeah, no, this is impressive. Yeah, and I love the way you guys wrap this. We're able to tie that in. Right, yeah. That looks beautiful. Yeah. They did a, an amazing job. Right. Very happy with it. What was your name again? Mark. Mark? Yes. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, I appreciate sure. it. Alright, so they are fully finished with the wrap. I want to thank immensely uh, CJ Norby. I'll put their link down in the description. They absolutely knock us out of the park for me. This type of material is not meant to be wrapped like a car wrap. This is a uh, this is decal material and what they were able to do with this is super impressive if you guys know I make decals I deal with a lot of the stuff and uh, yeah to make it bend the way they made it bends that's uh that tells you these guys have been doing this for a long time and they've been, they spend hours on this getting every little detail right making sure all the lines line up between body panels uh, I cannot say enough good things about these guys I really appreciate everything they've done Zach's over here getting all the sweet trim pieces put on the bumper now, if you remember, I told you guys all of this stuff in the rendering, all these little trim pieces were supposed to be copper, but being on the time frame that we're on and having to switch powder coaters, I don't want it to not be the right color copper. So we opted to go black for now, which actually looks really sick. I'm told you black. Zach's gonna want me to keep it black. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if it grows on me. If not, after SEMA, we can pull all these uh, decorative parts off and have them powder coated. Wow, oh, dude, I love the black and white. Almost makes me want to <laughs> redo everything. Redo everything, black and white. So what I like about Flog over a lot of other companies is everything is streamlined kind of to the factory. All the factory stuff 
fits in and pops into all the holes and it's just a it's a beautiful clean high-end setup so if you guys don't know on the GM trucks the joys of pulling the rear bumper is that you have to lift up on the rear of the bed to be able to pull it all the way out so got to loosen up the rear bolts two people pick up on the bed while two other people pull the bumper out another one of GM's genius designs my extensors aren't in though all right ready two three All right, so while Zach gets the bumper bracket mounted, we are gonna head back over to the body shop and just hope and pray that uh, the front bumper is done and ready to be picked up because we are running out of time here. We're running out of time. Everything else seems like it's falling into place, but that front bumper is making me extremely, extremely nervous. Well, great news, guys. We've got a front bumper in the back that is finished, and we've got two repaired mirrors back here. I think we're gonna get this. I don't know yet. Uh, we haven't dry fitted any of these bumpers, by the way, just so you guys know. It literally came right off the semi into the bed of my truck, straight to the painter. So I hope there's no issues with that. I don't suspect there being any, being that we're not the first people to have these bumpers, but you really do never know without uh, dry fitting anything. That, uh, that is a beautiful fix right there. Look at that, no more broken mirror. It's actually gonna get these bad boys installed. We'll finally be able to see what those look like on the truck because uh, they haven't been on the truck at all. I am in love with these mirrors. I don't know guys, I wonder if, uh, ooh, it's bright outside. I wonder if Napa Auto Parts is hiring because I feel like I've been a, uh, a parts runner for this entire build. But unfortunately, we have to leave the shop right now. They are about to put the bumpers on, but first they gotta get the brackets mounted. So we've got a little bit of time, but I've got a truckload here of workport orders that need to go to the post office so that way they can get to you guys in time. So I'm gonna break away for a minute, go to the post office, drop off all of these work forward orders, and then come back and hopefully we get to see some beautiful bumpers that are installed. So I was just minding my own business coming back from the post office and you guys are not gonna believe who I ran into. What's up guys? Oh, hey buddy, how you doing? Good. How's life been treating you? Good. So Chris has been generous enough to roll with me to Preston's because, well, the plan is to take my truck and then obviously this truck has to get back to the house somehow. So Chris is gonna get to pilot the old 7.3 here. Are you excited? You Super doing? excited. What? Yeah. Is that your new instrument? Yeah. Ugh. So strong, buddy. It's heavy. It's true. Yeah. Well, we made it back. Completely forgot to grab the Odyssey battery, so we got those now. Let's go see if we got some bumpers on. Rear bumper is on. Damn. Yeah. They look rad, dude. Yeah, that's killer. I'm, I almost kind of like it without a piece right here. What do you think, buddy? Looks good. Mm -hmm. So just so you guys know, I forgot that there are lights that go back here. So I had C4 send me out four lights for the front and no lights for the back. So either we're rolling to SEMA with no lights in the back or C4, maybe I can get him to meet me over at SEMA with some lights in the back. And then uh, we can put them on while we're over there in Vegas because I know C4 is going out there. Put the girl in. Where's that? Where's the girl? Bottle lights. Don't try to figure that out. Get it's on the side. There you go. Good, thank you. Right over here, double fisting it. Look at that. I'll fucking torque it down. What's the spec? 450. Really? I think you and Chris are the same person. You're so good. All right, front bumper's on. They're gonna kill the lights right now so we can see just what this thing looks like lit up at night, even though Zach's still working under the hood, but. Oh, yeah. That looks. That's bad. It just floats there. Yeah. Nah, I don't think I want any other lights. Just that bad boy alone. Dude, I love that. It just like goes. Yeah. That is 
Beautiful. No, I think you hit it right there. I think that's the oh. yes. Dare we say it? All right, back flip off the tire, Zach. Celebration. Get, get in, start it, go. <laughs> Don't stop. Wait, you forgot the thing. <laughs> All right, fire it up, Zach. All right, let's make sure we got this beautiful backdrop here. I have to say, I did not think we'd be going with as complete of a truck to SEMA. I, I am blown away that this thing has come together as nicely as it has. I made a lot of weird design choices that I wasn't sure I was gonna like, but I had no choice but to commit to. And I think seeing everything all together, it was just well worth it. And for all of you guys that wanna build a truck of this caliber or any caliber, get a rendering done beforehand. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money on changing up parts and switching things out because I don't think I ever would have committed to this copper if I didn't see it in the rendering from Strictly Customs Designs. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody at Preston's. They've been putting in a ton of late hours to make sure that this thing was ready. I mean, this is like the 11th hour here of, uh, of getting this thing ready in time for SEMA. So, huge shout out to them, especially Zach. Zach was putting in just crazy hours. He was going OCD on making sure everything was perfect. So, I want to give a huge shout out to Zach. And thank you, brother. I really appreciate you guys uh, making my dream truck come true because, well, Can, I get, can, can, we, can we get a, a group hug? Zach's face will look close to my face. Oh, oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Zach, brother. I can't thank you enough, man. I wish it was more done, but uh, it, it's, it's go out there and make us proud. Thank you, man. Should drive totally different now. Sway bar's in the back. Yeah, sway bar's gonna be nice. You got your ride height, like, you know, you're at ride height now. You yeah, don't have all to the settings like, are dialed in. I'm excited, man. I can't thank you enough, brother. I really, uh, I re no, I'm serious, man. I know the praise is weird, but it's, you, you, it's, it's uncomfortable a little bit sometimes, but you pulled no. off one hell of a build for me, brother. I, I can't thank you enough. I know it's been chaos with the parts coming last fucking second and me. That's kind of what makes it fun though. Is that last, you know, that anxiety, like, Oh, is it gonna get done or not? I don't know, cause this morning it had no no bumpers on it, and interior we wasn't we done, mirrors weren't here, mirrors were wet still. Um, yeah. it, it was chaos. Yeah. Hey, they forgot to give us back this part. You got to run back over to the body shop and hope they have it. Mm, pretty you much. need your truck back. Go have fun in it. That's the whole point of it. Thank you, brother. I will. Here's kind of the game plan of what we're gonna be doing next is first thing in the morning josh is going to come over and give this thing one last detail before we put it on a flatbed we have secured a uh, a tow truck that's going to take us to sema so that's good we're not gonna have to drive the thing but uh we're gonna put it on a flatbed and then uh yeah tomorrow we will be at uh we'll be at sema so it's gonna be really cool i'm really excited more so to meet a ton of people from the instagram world from the truck community sema is going to be a huge coming together of all of us as you guys know dirty max jack is going to be there so we're gonna do a little collaboration while we're there and we just got a lot of cool stuff coming for you guys. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait to bring you guys all of the crazy action-packed SEMA footage. We got a filming permit for SEMA, so that's cool. That means we can film whatever, whenever we want and nobody's gonna get mad at us. So that'll be really cool. I'm really excited to just get face first in that whole SEMA craziness. I don't even know what it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna try and give you guys as much footage and as much videos as I can. I know I've been doing this daily thing and it is a lot of freaking work when you're trying to build a truck, build a restaurant, run an apparel company, and daily vlog. It's crazy. To all the guys that daily vlog, uh, I commend you guys. I commend you guys. But as always, guys, if you want to see this thing, make it to SEMA or 
hopefully make it to SEMA. I don't know. Uh, if you guys want to see this thing at SEMA, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed now. That way you can see all of the cool truck content that we are going to be having coming soon. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Preston's Tire and Wheel, all the sponsors that have helped me out uh, on the truck build. Uh, don't forget to love Chris, the man holding the light right now. Oh, what's up, guys? Don't forget to check out WorkForApparel.com as well. We've got all the hoodies, new shirts, everything back in stock. And well, guys, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. Chris, I'm happy, buddy. I'm happy. Damn.